Okay, in this video, we are gonna talk about how to take a conic section that's given in general form and put it into standard form, or as close as we can get, on the TI Inspire cast. So, first time I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it on a calculator page. So I'm gonna add a calculator. And so what I'm talking about is something that looks like maybe uh, 144 x squared, um, let me see here, minus 121 y squared. So this definitely looks like something maybe you don't wanna mess with by hand, although if you're in my class, you'll definitely have to. Um, so minus 242 y, and then plus 20903, and then it equals zero. So what we wanna do is we wanna put that into standard form. So the way we start that is we complete the square. So to do that, I'm gonna do menu, and then option three, and then uh, option five is complete the square. So I'm gonna complete the square on this thing. I'm gonna say comma x comma y. And so it does this, which is almost what we want, but we want this thing to be equal to one. So what I'm gonna do now, and I can simply do this, I can just divide through by uh, the right-hand side of this. So negative one, seven, four, two, four, and press enter. The problem is when you do that, you can see it kind of uncompletes the square, but it does equal one, which we wanted. But what you can do is you can just complete the square again. So I'm gonna do menu, option three, and then option five, and then for the answer, comma x, comma y, and there you go. So it's weird because you always have to do it twice, um, and it's kind of annoying, but there's this kind of nice thing that we can do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, so doc four, I'm gonna add a problem, and I'm gonna actually add a notes page. So this is a little different. So it's hard to tell that you're in a notes page and not a calculator page, but if you try to do like two plus two and press enter, nothing happens. So that's a little different. Um, any math that we wanna do, we're gonna have to do in a math box. So I press menu, insert, and then option one is math box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a function and it's a multivariable function. So it's a function of X and Y. So it's F of X, Y, so I'm just typing in the math box, and then colon equals, which for you is control and then the templates. Um, and now let me type in, so I'm gonna type in, although it should be equal to zero, I'm just gonna type in the, the left-hand side of a uh, conic section here. So let's say 1014x plus 200y, and then minus 2304. All right, so it should be equal to zero, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna press enter, and it says done, and that's good. And now what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of set up so that um, that process will take care of itself. So to do that, I need to complete the square. Everything that's available in the calculator is actually available here, but you have to press menu and go to calculations. Calculations basically just takes you to um, kind of the calculator menus, right? And everything's almost exactly where it is. It might actually be where it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so what I want is algebra. So it's, I press menu, six, go to option three, option five, complete square. All right, so I'm gonna complete the square. Now think about what we did last time. We completed the square, we divided by the right-hand side, and then we completed the square again. So I'm gonna complete the square on, I need to complete the square again. So complete the square, menu three, five. So I wanna complete the square on f of x, y equals zero. And I need to complete the square with respect to x, and y. All right, so that'll complete the square and I'll have that weird right-hand side. So it's gonna be equal to some number, not one. Well, one is a number, but it won't be equal to one. So now what I need to do is take this answer and divide it by whatever I get on the right-hand side. Well, the Inspire has a way to do that. So I'm gonna say divided by, and I'm gonna type right to R-I-G-H-T, and that's gonna grab the right-hand side of whatever I now feed it. So right is its own function. So inside here, I need to put basically this again. So I'm holding shift and copying this, and I'm gonna hope that it works. So, and then control C should copy, and control V should paste, and it doesn't for me, and that's annoying, so I'm gonna have to do it through the menus, but that should have worked for you. So I'm gonna press menu, option six, option three, option five, F of X comma Y equals zero, comma x comma y. So that's gonna grab the right hand side and I'm gonna press parentheses. So that closes the right command. Um, do I need to complete the square? Mm, 
I'm just gonna close this parenthesis. I think that's okay. Um, and then I'm gonna do comma x comma y because at the end I need to complete the square with respect to x and y on whatever I'm left with. So let's let's uh, take a look at this and see. Press enter. Looks like it worked. Um, so it reformats it for me. Uh, I probably honestly I could probably use a fraction template in there and make it a little easier typing it in. Um, so I have this, and if you didn't follow that, you can rewind and watch it again, slow it down. So it's complete the square, which is just complete square, of complete square on f of x, y equals zero, comma x, comma y, divided by the right side of complete square f of x, y equals zero, comma x, comma y, and then comma x, comma y. So this final comma x comma y actually goes with this complete the square, like way out here. This complete square f of x y equals zero with respect to x and y. This is the one that initially completes the square. Then that's gonna be equal to some number that's not necessarily one. So I divide through by that number, which means I divide through by the right hand side of complete square f of x y blah blah blah. And then the final comma x comma y to complete the square there. So it all works out um, and that's really handy. So what I'm gonna do before I go up and, and alter anything, I'm gonna arrow into this box and press menu and go to math box options and math box attributes. And here where it says show input and output, I'm gonna to click to the right and say hide input because I don't really need to see that. So press enter, press enter again. And when I arrow out of this box, what's nice is that it just leaves the answer. So up here, what I can do now is I can change this. So I'm just gonna highlight it and press delete. And now I can put in, uh, I don't know, 16 X squared minus 25. I'm just getting these from the first page of notes 14 on my website. Um, and then plus 64x minus 150y minus 561 and press enter and it completes the square force. It does it so fast that you don't even really notice it happening, which is kind of crazy. Um, the one thing that I see people forget to do is they forget to press enter. Um, you need to press enter to kind of restore what f of xy is. Um, so let's see, x squared minus 16y squared uh, plus 192x, no, 192y minus 560. Press enter, and you can see it'll just keep doing it. Um, and this is really handy because it'll take a conic section that's in general form and it'll put it in standard form for you. And um, that's something you have to do all the time. So this is a really fast way to check your work or to write your own problems and make sure that you're doing them correctly. Um, so that's about it. You can do it all in the calculator page. And that's more if you're just doing one problem here or there. If you're gonna be doing it a ton, I definitely recommend you create this notes page, um, save this as something and have it with you all the time because uh, it just helps that much. So uh, I hope you found this helpful and good luck.